It's the stunning strike that gets Guangzhou Evergrande's Chinese Super League campaign back on track. Zhang Limpeng's halfway line lob was Evergrande's second in a 6-1 rout of Liaoning Hu win. Welcome relief on the touchline for boss Fabio Cannavaro. The defending champions were winless in three in all competitions going into the game, but only needed nine minutes to take the lead. Gao Lin's glancing header beating Zhang Lu in the Liaoning goal. The visitors did manage to pull one back from the spot through James Tremunga's spot kick. But after the break, normal service was resumed after yet another cracking strike from the hosts. Prolific forward Elkerson with goal number 68 for the Chinese Giants just his third season in southern China. Then after an end-to-end -end counter attack, Ricardo Goulart put the match beyond doubt with the hosts fourth. It got worse for the visitors when Zhang couldn't keep out Elkerson's free kick. And the 6-1 demolition was complete in injury time as Lin had his second, finishing off Wang Shang Wan's ball over the top. The perfect return to form for Evergrande, who are now up to third. In the weekend's top of the table clash, Shanghai SIPG went ahead against league leaders Beijing Guan in the 15th minute. Tobias Heisen finishing off Wang Shen Chao's cross from the right, the Swedish veteran with his 23rd goal for the club. After Beijing's Dejan Damjanovic squared up to the referee on half time, the visitors had the equaliser after the break. Erton Vezelahu side footing home, his fourth in five games for the club this season. That's how it stayed in Beijing, a point each keeping the team from the Chinese capital top of the league. In the peak of the weekend's other matches, Shandong Lunen hosted Guangzhou RNF, with the visitors taking the lead on 20 minutes. Wang Song volleying home into an unguarded Luning net. In the second half, the host did manage to get back on level terms as Junior Urso headed in from Lu Bin Bin's pinpoint cross. But after Aloisio was sent off, receiving a second yellow for diving, Lu Neng's momentum ended there. Jiang Ning with the winner for Guangzhou in the 85th minute after Lu Neng keeper Wang Dae Lei lost his footing. The 2-1 win helping the visitors extend their unbeaten run to three matches. So R&F move up to sixth, level with their opponents from Shandong after the win. Their crosstown rivals Guangzhou Evergrande are now third after their demolition of Liaoning.